Hello, my name is Karen Gallagher. Welcome to my live page and today I'm going to talk to you about social work. I went to uh, high school, finished high school at the age of uh, 17, nearly 18. Um, and then I uh, travelled for three years and started university at the age of 21. Uh, where I studied social work for four years, uh, gaining a BA Honours in social work. Um, I got into social work um, because I realised, probably whilst uh, my experience with travelling, that I really enjoyed working with people um, and felt I had something to give and wanted to help people. Um, I also had a friend who was in social work and my parents were also in the area of social work. Um, social work is working with people um, in various circumstances um, and it could be uh, neglect, drug abuse, alcohol, um, poverty and really looking at making positive change uh, to people's lives. Um, and this could be through a number of solutions and the main aspect is really empowering individuals to make these changes themselves without the support of social work in the longer term. I have been working in the area of children and families um, for over four years. Um, intervention theories um, a main intervention theory in social work would be uh, building uh, resilience. Um, this, for example, could be uh, looking at a child's um, opportunities and activities, uh, something they're good at. Um, so, for example, if a child is good at football, um, working on this to build up their confidence and self-worth um, to build on these and this will maybe hopefully give them some uh, yeah, additional confidence that they maybe need for self-growth. Um, firstly, uh, the main one would be communication. Um, social work, it's vital that you can build relationships with people. Um, you are working with people in the most vulnerable circumstances, um, therefore it's important to try to build trust um, on an immediate basis. Uh, meeting new people. Uh, this includes you know the various different children I worked with um, and their families and also different professionals. Um, like I say you're working within uh, different settings so it always is, is interesting and you get to learn from each other. Uh, limited resources um, ha is a big challenge and has become more apparent within m recent years um, as the council makes cuts to funding of services then sometimes you can make an assessment for what you think a child or a family needs but actually the, the money is so limited that there is not you're unable to um, find the resources for this and this is when you have to think outside the box to think of maybe other solutions. Usually I would get up around uh, 7 um, and be in work for around 8.30, um, get a coffee if there was time. I would obviously check my diary that day, diary is vital as a social worker. Um, and also check my phone. Um, realistically there is no typical day in a social worker's life um, as things can change quite um, quickly. However, yeah, you maybe have a, a visit to a child, a younger child, but under five who's not at school, um, maybe in the morning, um, then you maybe go to a, a meeting um, for example, a lack review, which would be a looked after and accommodated review. Then maybe, you know, have some lunch and then you may be out in schools in the afternoon um, 
possibly doing a piece of direct work with a child. Another big part of your day is report writing and answering emails, and making phone calls, uh, trying to organise services um, for particular uh, children or families. And if you have visits um, with school children, then they tend to be after obviously school hours. So this would be in Scotland around 3.30, uh, 4 p.m. Um, so you would maybe visit the, uh, the child wherever they are staying, um, and then you know typically finishing around you know five five thirty. Um, like I said earlier, this can sometimes not be the case, and you can be working a bit later. I hope I have been able to give you a balanced view of social work. Thank you.